In this video we're going to take a look at how to create a jump pad or we'll call it a launch pad. So we'll go ahead and get started. What I like to do is I like to know where my launch pad is when I'm being launched. So let's create something that will indicate that. So this time let's use a cylinder. So I'm using a basic cylinder. I'll drag it out here and I'm going to shrink it over here. I'm going to scale it on the z-axis to 0.1 and uh, then I'll just pull it up and press the end key to flatten it on the ground there. Now I also need a uh, something to trigger the launch pad so I will come over to volumes and I'm going to use a trigger volume right there and I'll drag it out and uh, it's really large I'd like to constrain it more to the size of the the actual pad here so I'll just come over here and to my brush settings and crank that down to 100 by 100 100 and then same thing here is I'll uh, press the end key drop it on the ground and then try to center it more here um, so it's more appropriate for what it is alright that looks really good and I'm gonna put it right in front of my player character here alright so make sure that your uh, trigger volume is selected and let's open up our level blueprint. So you will go blueprints, open level blueprint. Well, mine's already open back here. Once again, I'm going to right click in here and uh, make sure your context sensitive button is selected. And I'm going to add an event for my trigger volume and then I will add a collision event and it is a add on actor begin overlap. Then my executable right here, I will click and drag off my executable. And instead of the word jump pad, we're calling it a launch pad because we're going to type in the word launch, L-A-U-N-C-H. And uh, I don't see my launch character up there, so let's turn off or uncheck the context sensitive button. And then you'll see launch character comes up. All right, and so we're going to launch him and uh, but what are we going to launch right now so if I go ahead and compile this it's gonna give me an error because it needs something to launch even down here it says this blueprint is not a character therefore the target must have a connection so let's give the target a connection let's click and drag off of that blue channel of the target and uh, let's just get player character so there it is I'll press enter there's my player character and uh, let's leave it like this for now and uh, we'll make an adjustment in just a moment. So let's compile it, the error goes away, go back into here and uh, hit play. So now I'm gonna run over it, boom. <laughs> that was pretty pitiful, it jumped but not very high. So let's increase the height that we can jump. So I'll go back into my blueprint and over here where it says launch velocity, I'm going to raise it on the z-axis. Let's give it like a thousand. And now it's going to launch me up in the air a good distance. So I will compile it. Let's go back into our game. Let's hit play. And then I will jump over it. Boom. And it launches me up. Very nice. Whatever direction I enter it, it's going to launch me that same direction. It'll keep going. All right, so that's kind of important, the fact that it's going to um, it's going to launch me the direction that I am going. So let's take a look at one more change we can do. I'll go back into it. My launch velocity here also has X and Y coordinates. So if I am, uh, let's see, so here's X is the red axis, Y is the um, green axis. Let's say I want to be swept off to the left a little bit. Well, um, the y-axis goes right positive and it goes left negative. So if I'd like to be swept off to the left a little bit, let's give it a negative number in that uh, green y-axis. So I'll come over here and there's my y-axis. Let's give it like negative 500. And we will compile again and go back into my map and play. And let's see what happens. I'm still going to go straight ahead. Boom, but look at that, it jumps me way off to the left there um, because I entered that number in the, um, in the, uh, in the y-axis coordinate there. And notice that no matter where I'm going, so if I'm coming this way, it's gonna go even further. 
What if I'm going this way against the negative y axis? Boom. It kind of, it still did it a little bit, but nowhere near uh, what it would have normally. So anyway, so that's what the coordinates are for. And, uh, and that's what my jump, or my, uh, yeah, my jump pad is for. Also, one other thing, we always want to comment our, um, our networks that we put together. So I will select them, press C uh, to comment in, and this will be jump pad uh, by stairs. There we go. And I guess I'm going to make that back to zero. And compile it, and we're finished. Thank you very much for watching.